Today I'm preparing the garden for spring, so stay tuned. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Andreas and me and my family is on a journey to a more sustainable way of life. If you are interested in off-grid living, homesteading, solar power, sustainable gardening and much more, this is the channel for you. Subscribe and come along on the journey to a more sustainable way of life. Check that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Now back to the content of this video. Last week we had about 12 degrees celsius outside, but this week have been much colder with temperatures around 4 degrees and some snowflake falling from the sky. But it's really time to get the garden and greenhouse ready for the upcoming growing season. Inside the house, the tomatoes, cucumbers and all the other vegetables are sprouting. You can check out earlier videos on that and I will do an update really soon. I've added more containers to grow in the contained garden area. The compost I had available wasn't enough, so I had to buy more soil. I've been hauling soil for the last couple of weeks now. I use good quality soil from Blomstelandet that is fertilized with chicken manure. The idea with this piece of garden is to grow all the vegetables in a contained area where the deers can't get the crop. We will be growing corn, aubergine, squash, carrots, broccoli, cabbage and a lot of other different vegetables. In these containers I've already mixed in cow manure and compost. Now I'm filling them up a bit more with some soil. When every one of them is filled I'm going to add wood chips on top to keep the soil moist and the weeds away. I still got room for some more raised bed in here, but I want it to be easy to move around in here with a wheelbarrow. After this growing season I'm going to add more height to these raised beds and fill them with more compost. I want them to be quite high so I don't have to bend down to pick the few weeds that will come up and it makes it a lot easier to harvest. The entire garden is automatically watered, which is awesome. I have done videos in the past on that, but I will make a new one when I'm starting up the system for this season. In the greenhouse I also have to fill up with more soil. I'm also monitoring the climate in the greenhouse closely so I can get the plants out there as early as possible. Now 
Now I'm ready to put the wood chips in all the beds and then we just have to wait for the weather to get a bit warmer so we can start planting all the vegetables and fruits. This is it for this week. If you got any questions, ask them in the comments. I will answer them all. Have an amazing week and I will see you in the next episode. If you haven't subscribed already, do so by clicking down there on the Swedish flag. And then you can also click on the little bell icon up there. And then you'll get notified when I put up new videos. And if you want to watch another video, I got one over there for you.